Just because America's reigning kings of hard rock are all parents now, that doesn't mean the four members of the group Van Halen are all mellowed out. Today, music correspondent Rona Elliott said the beat does go on, Rona. Yes, it does, Rick. Good morning. It is let the party begin or continue as far as this band is concerned. And with the arrival of little Wolfgang Van Halen to Eddie and his wife, actress Valerie Bertinelli in March, and the group's new hit album for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, it's a good bet that Van Halen and family will be rocking in more ways than one. <laughs> This is the latest from a band that has become somewhat of a musical institution. Since Van Halen's record debut in 1978, the hard rocking group has become one of the most successful chart busters in rock and roll history. To me, this album this is when the, I think the band totally came together on this thing. And it's like, uh, it's complex, but it's done so. It's made to sound simple in a funny way. It's probably the most identifiable. I mean, this is Van Halen. This is probably I think the, it's the, the most, most powerful record we've ever done. How so? Oh, it just bah, boom, it hits you in the face, you know? It's like, it's heavy. After but the song, but, but not to say that the songs are just like headbanging tunes, you know? They're melodic, but it's just delivered with a lot of power. <laughs> want to know when you guys are off not you specifically but when a band is not in the studio or on tour do you still spend time together well i live yeah. i live right there exactly. and he lives right here it's like we're sort of stuck with it and, that's, and, I, and alan and i get to drive <laughs> um this album is a real collaboration in the sense that you all wrote the songs on it is that different for you yeah, it's no, the same as always it's really the, the music came 90 percent from uh, ed and sammy but because we had a lot of time to to weed out things and throw in ideas everybody got their licks in where do you think you fit in now in the musical continuum i mean you're really established i think we're probably the the least uh accurate we probably have the least accurate vision of what we look like to our public we're probably the wrong person to ask you know as far as we're concerned as musicians, you want to grow. Right. You know, that sounds a little pompous, but you try to get better at what you're doing and uh, at the same time express yourself. Rock and roll isn't all that is keeping this band busy. Besides their families, the band members have become entrepreneurs, collectively and individually. Eddie Van Halen is designing and selling his own guitars. Sammy Hagar will introduce his own clothing line in the fall. And all four members are partners in a nightclub south of the border in Cabo San Lucas. I think really what Sammy just wanted was a place where he wouldn't have to stand in line and have dinner and drinks. So instead, we just built our own place. Well, you know? My problem is... It's just like with his clothes, you know, only one of his clothes to wear for himself. If, if, yeah. if, if, if you give me five minutes off, I'll, I'll occupy myself. And the problem is, is then, like, something else comes up, then I go, oh, God, well, I, 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 well, I can't do this now. Now i got to go do this. One of the band's proudest moments, ironically, came from news reports during the Gulf War, when combat airmen announced that it was the Van Halen song Dreams that psyched them up for battle. Yes! Go, guys, go! <laughs> Hey, that's why the war got over so quick. Yeah. <laughs> man, it's like, the cats were like fired up, man. Yeah, this one guy just said on the way in, he'd listen to us, you know, to get all hyped up to, to do his mission. On the way out, he'd listen to country music to mellow out. I got kind of the chills on going, oh, no, you know, it just. Something heavy, that intense, right? what those guys are doing, I mean, you know, that much intensity to, to even think that your music comes up to their level, it's like, it's an honor. <laughs> it's no wonder that this new album went to number one in just over a week. Not many bands have that kind of following or, as you can see, that much fun. Rick? Thank you, Rona, and we're back in a moment with more on today.